How's it hanging? Web Studios back here with another video, and today we are unboxing something super special. Instead of this being Spider-Man, this is actually a Doctor Strange cape. I got this off of Mercari, so I actually have no idea how to leave the link in the description for you. I'll make sure I show all of you guys the details. However, I'm not really entirely sure how you guys can purchase one of these on your own. This is more of just me showing you something really cool that I purchased that will be a very nice addition to a cosplay. Before I get into it, let me say, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, with that out of the way, I'm just gonna go into a little bit of information about the cape. I didn't choose any of the sizing, any of the details, nothing like that. All I did was find one on Mercari that seemed like it would fit me. Right now, it is a small, and I'm about 5'10", and it is basically perfect height for me. So I have no idea if a medium or a large even exist. I mean, I'm sure at least a large exists, but if it doesn't, then you guys will just be stuck with this. And if you're super tall, this might be a little bit too short for you, and if you're super small, this might be a little bit too long for you. Of course, as you can see, the absolutely fantastic detailing. Basically, none of it is printed except for these little dots here. Definitely my favorite detail is how they change the fabric in this little area as it starts off as a nice clothy sort of velvety fabric and then it turns in to a very meshy athletic wear. I also have to say that the collar is very interesting. It's not as thick as it is in the movie, but that's because it has a little wire inside. Like, as you can see, it, ref it turns back to its original shape when I do all that. I think that it looks pretty good. However, occasionally you do have to do that to fix it. But bes besides that, it's not a big deal at all. Here you can see the tag, which is actually really helpful because you can hang stuff right there, which is a really neat feature, and it allows hanging this and transportation to be much easier. We are on the inside, which is where all of the mesh detailing is, and it is actually a completely different fabric. Let me just say, this is layered like crazy. There's so much layering going on. This is incredibly accurate to the movie. Maybe the only thing that isn't accurate is um, how shiny it is. Like, it's really shiny. And one of the neatest details is that these little label pins, they are, they're metal. They aren't entirely accurate though. Like, for instance, you see how it's cut out? It shouldn't be, it should actually have red everywhere and it should just be a solid piece. Not to mention there are holes in it so that they can sew them together. Beyond that, this cape is basically perfect. I might eventually replace them, but probably not in time for what I'll be using this for. Of course, how you attach it is pins. However, I have yet to use these because I actually don't think that they function very well and I can't really use them with the costume that I'm going on if I don't want to damage it. So I actually have to be very careful and I'm gonna have to figure out a different way. What I'm planning right now is adding Velcro to the costume and to this, so that, that way I can attach it and detach it very easily without damaging either of them. All right, with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's actually try this thing on. All right guys, sorry for the weird angle. I know you can't see my face completely, but it looks really nice. I do not have it pinned in right now because once again, they are difficult to work with. But, I mean, it just, look at the detail on it. That is insane. It just looks so accurate, and I really like how it isn't even. Because in the movie, it isn't even. In the movie, it's all over the place, and it really does a great job to make it look alive. And I think that this cloak really succeeds in doing that. This kind of droops down, so you occasionally have to prop it back up and do that. Here's a good look from the back now. I think it, once again, looks really cool from the back. And I cannot believe how much detail they packed into this thing. So that's basically all I can show you without giving away what costume I'm doing. Speaking of, if you want to guess what costume I'm doing, leave it in the comments and I will pin it and then shout you out in the next video if you are the first person to guess it correctly. I'm really excited to show you guys what costume I'm gonna be doing. And I know that this is a very strange video. It's a strange video to be putting on you guys, but I really like this cape and I think it was very unique. If you want to get into the nitty gritty, it took me only about three or four days to ship over here. And the seller was incredibly, incredibly good at communicating in a very, very fast shipper as well. I think they shipped it within like a couple of hours of me ordering it, which is very impressive. And I will leave a link to their store in the description, which is about the best I can do. And if I can happen to find somewhere that this cape is bought, then I'll put it in the description. But if I can't, I need you guys in the comments to comment down if you guys know where I got this because I mean it's pretty cool and I really want to show you guys where to get it. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We're getting even closer to 4,000 watch hours, which is our goal, because right now our main goal is to get monetized, not because we're greedy. Well, because we're greedy, but also because we want to just make better content. Right, that about wraps it up. Have a nice day, everyone. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility. See you next time.